You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, praised the achievements of the Bahrain One team who won the Bahrain Drag Racing Championship one round before the season's end. His Highness affirmed that this achievement was a result of the technical support and preparation provided by all members of the team in preparation for the NHRA World Championship for a Pro Mod category for the 2021 season in the U.S. next March. He appreciated the great efforts made by the Bahraini cadres and all members of the Bahrain One team since the beginning of the year. His Highness added that this achievement confirms the high competence and capabilities of these cadres, which reflected positively on the team's performance in general and contributed to the upgrading of the Bahrain One locally and globally. His Highness expressed his great confidence in the ability of Bahrain One team to compete in the next World Championship, wishing them every success. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the club organized the 17th race of the season and was held on the bank of Bahrain and Kuwait Cups, the two cups of Tyless Plastic Company and the Rashid Equestrian Club and Horse Racing Cup. The event took place on the club's racetrack in Rafah Sakhir and was also attended by dignitaries and representatives of the sponsoring parties. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Tyless Plastic Cup for the eighth round from the executive director of Tyless Plastic Company, Islam Al Jabri. After the horse, Cloud Drift won first place. Al Jabri also presented the Tyless Plastic Cup for the fourth round to the winner, James Naylor, while the CEO of BBK, Dr. Abdurrahman Saif, presented the Banks Cup for the fifth round to the winning owner, Mohammed Khalid Abdurrahim, and the Banks Cup for the sixth round to the winning owner, Ibrahim Al Afu. While the public relations officer at BBK, Abdurrahman Danish, presented the Banks Cup for the first round of His Highness Sheikh Sultan al bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, the general manager of retail banking services at BBK, Dr. Adil Salim, also presented the Banks Cup for the second round to the winner James Naylor and the Banks Cup for the third round to the winner Alan Smith. Then the executive director of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented the club's cup to Mohammed Khalil Abdurrahim.
The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, valued His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's directives to further develop reformation and rehab centers and adopt a program for reformation centers and open prisons to protect the social fabric in accordance with specific regulations and the importance of going beyond relying on confessions in courts and instead on conclusive material evidence. The minister added that this approach strengthens the principle of justice and reinforces it, explaining that it stems from His Majesty King Hamad's reform program and strives towards ensuring that the reformation of convicts occurs in parallel with upholding justice. Speaking about alternative sentencing, the Minister of Interior noted that an open prisons approach will allow for expanded implementation of alternative sentencing, recalling that Bahrain was one of the first Arab countries to implement an alternative punishment law to promote the criminal justice system and ensure that the penalty will rehabilitate and reform the convict. He highlighted that the ministry has been working on developing the kingdom's reformation and rehab to ensure the highest human rights standards are upheld. He said that the reform approach of the open prison system enables the inmate, after serving a certain period of his sentence, to leave the prison for some periods to get used to carrying out his daily life tasks and become reintegrated into society and to protect family, stability and social fabric. The minister said that the ministry's concerned authorities have been assigned to study the open prison system of different countries to benefit from their expertise, adopt successful practices and suggest amendments to the Reformation and Rehab Organization's law and its executive regulations. The minister stressed the importance of depending on conclusive material while pr pressing charges against an individual. He said that the ministry had tackled such aspects by developing the Criminal Investigation Directorate, forensic labs, capacity building and utilizing the latest technologies to detect crimes and collect evidence. Labor and Social Development Minister and Chairman of the National Childhood Committee, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, paid today an inspection visit to the Child Protection Center in Manama. The visit is part of the minister's follow-up on the center's efforts to deal with cases of abuse, violence or negligence that children may face. The minister is also keen to verify the quality of the services and procedures in place to protect children, treat them and reintegrate them into society so as to lead a normal life within a secure family environment, being as an inherent right guaranteed to them in the kingdom. The minister affirmed the Labor and Social Development Minister ministry's keenness to develop the professional efficiency of the Child Protection Center as part of its efforts to implement the provisions of Law 4 of 2021 on the promulgation of the corrective justice law for children and their protection from ill treatment ratified and issued by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He indicated that the center provides protection for children from ill treatment in the family and society as well as raises awareness on ways to protect children and support their rights in cooperation with the competent entities. The minister was informed about the mechanism to follow up on the situation of children who have been subjected to ill treatment. The center receives complaints through the toll-free hotline 998. The Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim bin Yagub al Hamad, praised the continuous directives of His Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister regarding the creation of different solutions for citizens. The Minister affirmed that this reflects reality through sustainable housing achievements, most notably the construction of five new housing cities in addition to dozens of other housing projects in the various governorates of the Kingdom, which is an extension of the civilizational achievements and the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. The Minister of Housing also appreciated the keen desire of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in the field of housing and his personal follow-up to various cities and housing projects and his interest in diversifying housing options for citizens through partnership with the private sector and finding innovative solutions that contribute to providing social housing for the Bahraini family. He said that the Ministry of Housing has achieved many successes in this regard, especially what has been accomplished through the Mazaya program and the construction of housing projects in Medina Salman, El Lawzi and others. The Assistant Undersecretary for Public Health and Chairman of the Vaccination Committee, Dr. Maryam al hajri revealed the change of the date of the second dose of the Covishield anti-coronavirus vaccine produced by AstraZeneca from four weeks to eight weeks. Dr. al hajri said that the new schedule that was approved came after a lengthy review of the evidence related to the use of the vaccine and implementation of the recommendations of the World Health Organization and the results showed that people benefit when taking the second dose after eight weeks, increasing the effectiveness of the vaccine and creating a greater immune response. Meanwhile, the national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 2,814 had taken the vaccine by Friday or on Friday, bringing the total number of vaccinated individuals to 292,917. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,886 active cases with 667 recoveries and 632 registered new cases. 229 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 390 were contacts of active cases and 13 were travel related. The ministry also announced the death of a male citizen aged 76 and a female citizen aged 58 and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.